Hello there, this is Al Jazeera and these are the headlines. Saudi Arabia and the U.S. are verifying reports of ceasefire violations in Sudan. They brokered a seven-day truce between the army and the rapid support forces, which is aimed at allowing humanitarian assistance into the country. One of the anti-Kremlin armed groups that claimed responsibility for attacks in Russia's Belgorod region is threatening further incursions. Russia says it killed 70 fighters that had crossed the border, calling them Ukrainian nationalists. Meanwhile, the Russian Prime Minister, Mikhail Mishustin, is due to meet China's President, Xi Jinping. The meeting comes as Western nations have increased sanctions on Moscow for its invasion of Ukraine. Well, a U.S. journalist will remain in jail in Russia for another three months. A court has extended the detention of Evan Gershkovich. The Wall Street Journal reporter was arrested back in March and charged with spying, allegations he strongly denies. The U.S. is calling for his immediate release. Thousands of people displaced by the conflict in Ethiopia's Tigray region marched through the capital, Mekele, on Tuesday. They're calling for an end to the violence and to be allowed to return to their land. Dozens of women have been abducted by a separatist group in Cameroon. They were protesting against extortion payments. Video footage appears to show at least 49 women held captive. The government says it sent troops to rescue them. A typhoon has hit the U.S. territory of Guam. Typhoon Mawa is expected to be the worst storm to hit the Pacific island in decades. The U.S. military has sent away ships, and anyone not living in a concrete home has been advised to seek safety elsewhere. Typhoon Mawa was forecast to arrive as a Category 4 storm with winds of 225 kilometers per hour. But it could strengthen to the most powerful level. That's Category 5.